there is so much of confusion about the spark how exactly spark works what is the architecture and as a senior data engineer i can guide you through those things and let me tell you one thing i have been taking many interviews and this is a part of a uh, like uh, this thing that is very very important to understand how exactly the spark work how the uh, uh, things are orchestrated around the things what is master slave architecture we'll be talking about dedicated architecture today and we'll be also understanding ki ha what exactly dag means how exactly the tag is created when it is created how it is created those all things we'll be talking about from the scratch from the zero if you don't know anything about spark to start with this is one of the video that will be helping you a lot to start with so let's start with the things and i'll be guiding you through to a step by step guide by guide i have uh, made the architecture by all by myself on the dry, uh, draw.io to explain and guide you through so let's talk about the things from the scratch let's start so as you can see on the screen this is the main architecture that it looks like on the high level and in the interviews how it is important and exactly we'll be knowing it in a brief and uh, basically and in the detail ki how what type of interviews can be asked in the uh, for, for, for you so basically to start with basically as you can see here that is there is a driver program there will be a driver program also it is known as many times you might have heard about master slave architecture so spark architecture is many times known as master slave architecture so this is how it looks like that is driver program will be there. then a cluster manager will be there executors will be there there will be different different sort of executors or many times it will be called as a worker executor or worker both things are same master or driver both things are same if we talk about a master of if or if we say master or driver okay both things are same if we say worker or executor okay both things are same just uh, try to understand about that autonomy basically what are the major things and how exactly it works so basically uh, if we understood about these things and cluster manager cluster manager you can think of ki someone who will manage ki how many uh, resources are there how many executors are free how to allocate the task these all like the work the typical work of a manager you can think of ki uh, if there is no task so assign that task to this person something like that this is how a cluster manager works and there are different sort of cluster managers like stand alone cluster manager is there yan is there mesos is there kubernetes are there different different sort of cluster managers are there so you need to understand about that also so let's start with this thing that is execute you and this one we missed that is task 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 is the every time you remember ki whenever you are running uh, making a spark code okay every time that whenever you will run a code it will be a job spark job will be made then stages will be made in that state different sort of task will be made and task is the smallest unit task will be the smallest unit in the spark job try to understand it is a very very important uh, term for the interviews that is what is the smallest unit or what is the ma uh, main basic unit you यूनिट के बात करें तो सबसे नीचे वाली चीज क्या है दैट इज टास्क टास्क सो बेसिकली दीज आर द मेजर लाइक मेजर थिंग्स दैट इज एक्चुअली वेयर द थिंग्स आर परफॉर्म सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज एग्जैक्टली एंड व्हाट आर द मेजर थिंग्स एंड what are the functionalities of this one if we talk about driver program driver program it is basically it is main responsible to process and from wherever whenever you write your code whenever you write your spark application or spark code ki ha spark dot read dot something you wrote and display you did okay so basically every time the spark job will start from here that we call it as the it is a the process where the main spark application runs this is a process driver program will be the process where main spark job will be run main spark job okay try to understand that it is very very important to understand it that is it is a main program from where the spark job will run what are the responsibilities of this try to understand this also very very important responsibilities of a driver program is first one to convert whenever you write a code how to convert into a dag what is a dag dag means directed acyclic graph yeah whenever if you are aware about the dsa and all you might have heard about dags graphs cyclic graph then loop graphs and all these sort of graphs are there means directed acyclic graphs means ki ha basically there will be a graph like this ki ha different sort of task will be there and these task basically how it will be uh, basically 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 so dag is something suppose we have different sort of like you wrote something ki ha different different stages so how exactly the pro program will orchestrate see after this first this is first this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth 
so it has to go in one direction and there will be no loops in that that's why it is called as dag directed acyclic graph this is a fundamental whenever we talk about whenever whenever you will be talking about this thing spark every time you will be talking about ki ha driver program is only responsible whenever you write your code whenever you write whether program runs it will be creating it will be converting your code to a dag converts to dag D A G very very important converts to DAG. Next point is basically it requests the resources from the cluster manager. So cluster manager, as you all know, as you uh, just I gave a brief about कि हाँ what a cluster manager is. Cluster manager will be allocating the task, different sort of task and resources to everyone, every sort of executors, and it will be also driver program will be responsible to request the resources from the cluster manager. कि how it will be requesting कि हाँ this is a sort of a task and these many uh, resources will be required ki ha if i need three resources if i need four resources those sort of things this is done by the driver program only rest after this basically how to schedule the task on the executors basically after this when the task will start when the task will be ended these all sort of things will be guided or done by the by the driver program how to keep the track of the progress if this task has been completed then how to track the process of it that will be done by the driver program only try to understand this very very important very very important points after that after completing if this is done this is done this is an all the data is processed how to collect the result that is the work of a driver program to collect the result this is very very important to understand what are the main functionalities of a driver program driver program or we call it as master uh, node and all so it is very similar okay next comes that that is this one that is cluster manager cluster manager what a cluster manager will do cluster manager firstly there are different sort of cluster managers try to understand that stand alone yarn miso kubernetes as the name says cluster manager it will be responsible for it will be allocating the resources like cpus memories these called uh, sort of things to your spark application that is the main use case or the main work of a cluster manager to manage all those sort of things to see ki ha from where this task is completed you can upscale or give more uh, resources to this person to task Complete a task much faster. This is how the cluster manager will uh, will be working. There are different Spark works with different sort of cluster managers. You can uh, there will be many times. Most of the times you will be working with Yarn. That is yet an, another resource negotiable. That is one of the this thing term that if, if you know about the Hadoop fundamentals, you might have heard about uh, Yarn also. Okay. so basically these are the major things other than that let's talk about where exactly the task will run that is executors okay these are the people where exactly the task will run basically that is executors you might have heard the definition why that is they, these are the workers processes the and run uh, on the running uh, on the cluster node these will be running on the cluster node executes the task assigned to these person these are the actual people who will be completing that task actually processing that task this is how you need to answer it in the interviews and all this is how you, whenever i spark architecture is asked this is how you need to tell the things much more details are there but definitely you need to be much more better to try to understand the fundamental and slowly gradually things will happen other than that also if there is a requirement of storing the data in the memory or disk so basically executors will be responsible for that if each executor will have your executor memory cpu cores will be there task slots will be there these all sort of things will be there okay and if we talk about a dag or a task scheduler dag scheduler will be responsible to convert the if we are talking about a dag scheduler okay dag scheduler what is a dag scheduler dag firstly we understood ki what is a dag dag is the major thing that is responsible or working on what dag is the that will be responsible for converting converting the logical converting the logical plan into the physical plan that is the main thing dag scheduler will do that other than that it will break your job into the stages based on the shuffle boundaries there are different terms in this what are the uh, different uh, sort of stages will be the different sort of things will be there so these are responsible for that so try to understand these all things very very important for any sort of interviews so this is the main thing that you need to understand and this is how basically the architecture will look like other than that there will be step by step thing ki ha user will write the code then after that basically that logical plan will be created then we'll be talking about the dag scheduler dag scheduler will be coming into the picture ki ha how exactly the it will be dividing the job into the stages and stages into the task 
that all things will be done other than that task scheduler will be responsible for actually assigning the task to the executors ki ha exactly the executors will be assigned other than that cluster manager cluster manager will be responsible for allocating the resources to these executors how exactly that resources will be executed uh, given and how exactly the task will be performed those all sort of things will be done by the cluster manager to orchestrate those all things then if you have to uh, and the run that uh, to run the uh, executors will be responsible to run these tasks parallelly and result will be driven and given back to the driver program and it will be stored somewhere or written to the storage something like that this is how the things will look like and this is how the things are if you want to understand from the scratch from the if you want to learn about these sort of big data technologies and want to become a data engineer i have been teaching a boot camp on data engineering from scratch to be, uh, to becoming a ai enabled data engineer if you want to get into that boot camp link is in the description a coupon code is also there support number a number is also there if you want to know some more details you can reach out on the support number and definitely get that and directly you can enroll also to get all the clarity in the in this particular era of ai you need to understand about data engineering definitely if you want to get it is a high paying field but you need to know these all fundamentals to build those kind of systems so this was all about a video thank you so much for watching this particular uh, video milte hain next video mein jai hind vande mataram papa